what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another video. And today we have the Aventon Adventure. And this is probably going to be the best e-bike I have ever tested thus far. Aventon did send me this bike to do a review for you guys. But keep in mind, my opinions remain my own. Nobody's paying me to say this. This is a beast of an e-bike, full size, off-road capable. In this video, you are gonna get a unboxing and my complete review of this incredible bike. Now, right out of the box, I really should have gone to the manufacturer's website to see just how to put this thing together because, man, it was quite challenging. But of course, as soon as I go to their website, I see a complete how to put it together tutorial right on their website so they made it really easy to do but of course I didn't look at those instructions so definitely don't be like me and go and watch the tutorial instead of trying to figure out how everything goes on this e-bike now I did get everything together and man these parts are such premium parts I love Aventon as a company because they use such premium parts in all of their products that I have ever tested. And I've tested a lot of e-bikes out there and I have a whole playlist that you can go check out. I'll leave a card up here in the corner. Now, everything you're seeing on this bike comes standard with this bike, including the front and rear fenders and the front and rear cargo hold. So you can see that over the rear tire, you have this awesome pretty heavy duty cargo hold. And here is the battery, which is a genius design to make it fully integrated into the bike. So once you press that battery button on the battery, then you hold down the power button, your full color display, which the display is beautiful, turns on. Also from that right hand control, you can put the pedal assist up and down. So it goes all the way up to five, which is the highest pedal assist and all the way down to zero, which is no pedal assist at all. Also, there's a switch to turn on the lights, which you get a headlight and a tail light that actually illuminates brighter when you squeeze the brake. This makes this thing so safe. I mean, this is just an incredible integration in terms of the fenders, the lights, the color display. I mean, this is an all around amazing, incredible e-bike. Not to mention this green is so awesome. Gotta be my favorite color e-bike I have ever had. Also, I love the frame architecture. I love those curves. I mean, it just looks awesome. But how does it ride? This thing rides like a dream. I've taken it on several dirt trails and I didn't miss the rear shock. Now it does have that front fork with a fully adjustable shock. You can leave it open or closed, but it was very stable in terms of riding this thing and it made it really comfortable and the bigger tires gave me a lot of support in terms of going over rocks and things like that. I never felt like it was too bumpy and I think that extra shock you get from those fat tires really enhances the ride of this bike. This also has a removable battery, which is great if you're gonna to commute to work. It says it is waterproof to rain and going through puddles, but not to be submerged. The specs on this thing is just silly, ridiculously awesome. Now the weight wise, it is 73 pounds, but it doesn't feel that heavy. Again, you get these premium parts with this aluminum alloy frame, so it's really, as light as it can be for a large full-size e-bike. Now, in addition to all of the premium parts, the premium shifters, the hand grips, everything on this bike is definitely premium. You also have a premium display that allows you to make adjustments to your e-bike, including the brightness, and there is a connected app that you can also get. And best of all, you can adjust the speed limit so you won't be throttled in terms of the speed when you're using this bike. Really like that they gave that as an option here, as easy to do right from this center display. 
Now, just like all of my e-bike reviews, I tested the maximum range of this e-bike. And to be fair, I was going up hills and a lot of off-road, which increases the friction and reduces the battery. I was on pedal assist level five and I was able to get 41 miles. Now they say on their website, the average is 45. So I really don't think that 41 miles that I got on level five pedal assist is really all that bad, especially for this full size fat tire e-bike. Now I've talked to you about all the great things about this bike, but let's discuss the price. That is the one bad thing in my opinion, because it is gonna run you 1900 bucks. But again, you get so many premium things. And when you compare this to a lot of other e-bikes with the same battery and motor size, the Aventa Avenger really isn't that bad sitting at 1900 bucks. And not to mention that it comes with a lot of premium features, including the front and rear fenders. And basically, if you have the budget for it, definitely go with this Aventon Avenger. And make sure you get the green. Don't get the black, get the green. Trust me, this thing looks beautiful in person. Now this is gonna be my third Aventon e-bike. The Aventon level I just did a follow-up video on because I almost hit 400 miles on that bike. And that is a fantastic e-bike. I'll leave a link to that review up here in the corner. Because Aventon always uses premium parts on their e-bikes, I'm not concerned about the motor failing or failure of parts but I am probably gonna do a follow-up video because I do plan on keeping this e-bike for a while, so look for that in the future. So my final thoughts on the Aventon Adventure. This thing is awesome. I love how it's completely off-road capable, but also comfortable to ride on the street. This thing is all around the best e-bike I've tested. If you guys are interested in purchasing one of these e-bikes, I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't push, forget push, to push, hit push that subscribe button. button. As always, I'll see you in the next one.